Miss Gerald, I have banga soup and ecosy soup. Which one would you like to have? <laughs> Thanks, Ma. I am full. We just ate before leaving the house. No, don't tell me that. You can't come to my house and go without eating. Don't worry. Let me get you the banga soup. I know you would love it. I will garnish it so well to your taste. I know Gerald is an Ecosi soup fan. I will get that for him. Oh, thanks, Ma. Rejoice, safe. Always bothering about what to entertain her visitors with. Such a sweet lady. Now, I know the reason why my friend Patrick is getting robust daily. <laughs> you can say that again. Don't be lying. She's really feeding me with good food. Oh, I guess the dispatch rider is here. Patrick, I'm coming. I want to weekly pick up an item close by. Alright. Hi, Janice. How are you? Nice seeing you again. Thanks. I'm fine on you. Doing great by his grace. You are really looking pretty. Gerard is definitely taking good care of you. Tell me, Jane, how did you meet my friend? We met at our workplace. He's my colleague. Love found us. Wow. Tell me more about this. From colleagues to love beds. That would be a great love story to listen to. Tell me one thing you admire about Gerard. <laughs> hmm. One thing I admire about him is his gentility. Hmm. Okay. Tell me one thing you dislike about him. Nothing. Everything about him seems amazing. Nothing to dislike. Wow. That's surprising. I'm sorry to bug you with so much questions. I just feel like having more conversation with you today. You know the first time we met, we only said hello and hi to ourselves. Yeah, go ahead with your questions. I'm not pissed off by it. It's fine. Alright, thanks. So my next question. In your own simple language, define love. Love is a beautiful thing that makes life more comfortable for humans. Wow. Okay. What are the husband attributes you desire to see in your man? Hmm. I think that would be gentility. Able to tolerate things. One who is giving, loving and caring, and also God-fearing. Wow. Nice answer. What about what makes a woman a good wife? Same answers. Loving, caring and forgiving. Hmm. That's good. What about a situation where a guy has a partner and approaches you for marriage? Will you agree to go into a polygamous marriage that has become a norm in our society these days? Um, yes, if he can take care of me, same way as his other partner. I can. Besides, the whole happiness we seek for on earth isn't found in marriage. As far as I'm getting enough attention and care, I don't mind. Hmm. Alright, thanks for giving me your time. It's a pleasure spending my time with you. Agnes, I'll be going to the city tomorrow. Okay, that means I'll be sleeping over at your place tonight, so as to see you off tomorrow morning. Alright sis, thank you. You have been loving me. You are the only good friend I have in this village. Thank you for always supporting me. You don't have to keep thanking Ori. What are friends for? We should always have each other's back. Hope you haven't called him. No, I have not called. I will not call him as you tell me. Good. Hope you remember his house address. His house is very easy to find. If I stop at the park, I will enter another bus and tell them that I'm going to Vegas. The bus will drop me for the last bus stop. Then I will try to his house oh okay that means his house isn't that far from the vegas junction yes his house is around the vegas bus stop okay that's fine just be careful and watch out for hoodlums hold your back very well you know the city is a place filled with a lot of crazy people don't worry sis i'll be very careful it's all right god will see you through amen thank you my good friend i will make sure patrick doesn't go scot-free I would rather die than see Patrick being married to another woman. I thought he would come and apologize after our breakup as usual. I never knew he was willing to move on with his life. He can't ditch me just like that. As for this idiot I am living under his roof, he doesn't even know what I'm about to do to him. I will make sure I wreck him till he treks to his village. He brainwashed me into dating, claiming he has heaven and earth, not knowing he's a broke ass. Patrick is even more richer than him. Anyways, I know what to do. There is no time for regrets. I will make sure I manipulate and turn things around for my favor. I can't be a loser. Never. What's the problem? You woke me up. Patrick, I had a nightmare. A nightmare? Tell me about it. I was arrested in that dream by some policemen. They handcuffed me and was violently dragging me away. I was screaming your name but you were far away from me. It seemed like you wanted to help me but your feet were failing you. You kept yelling my name too from the far distance you were. All of a sudden, a heavy wind came out and there became a turmoil. Everyone, including the policemen, began to run helter-skelter. I escaped and I ran towards a narrow path. It was at that moment that I woke up. Hmm, what a dream. So what does that dream mean to you? I can't really interpret it, but I know it's a bad dream. 
We just have to pray and prevent the dream from occurring. Sure, we need to pray about it. Don't fight much about it. God is in control. The devil is a liar. Sure, dear. I think I should narrate this to our pastor and ask him to pray for us as well. How do you see this? It's a good idea. You can go ahead and tell our pastor about it. Prayer is the key. We must also pray about it ourselves. Let's start now to do so. Give me your hands. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for you are God who makes all things work for our good. I saw you walk into the director's office. Hope all is well. Yeah, he sent for me. Why? I don't understand why you are so curious about what we discussed. Come on, I usually go to his office. What's so weird about me seeing him today? I was just asking because I thought he was interrogating you on my matter. I mean, maybe he has had and you and I are expecting a child. Nope, he didn't say anything about us. We just discussed business only. Jared, are you sure? Don't lie to me. Look into my eyes and tell me the truth, please. Jane, I have told you what we discussed. Our discussion was just about the case of the loan that wasn't disbursed last month. Come on, stop being curious over nothing. Alright, dear. I'm just scared of how he might react if he gets to know about the affair between us. How would he react? Are we still kids? Am I not mature enough to have a woman under my roof? Or how does the relationship we are having dent in the image of the company? Come on, stop fretting. If he eventually finds out, I believe nothing will happen. Please go get me some snacks and drinks. I'm hungry. It's almost lunchtime. Alice, what's up? Have you guys gotten a driver? We did not see him more. Hmm. This is the second day and we haven't seen the driver since he left to get another tire. Oh no. Which kind of temptation can be this? Why don't they call the transport company? It works with. Some people have called the company. They say they will bring another bus for us. But we have not seen any bus. Ah, eh, hey, voila. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Some passengers that have money have entered another bus today. Me, it is only 2000 that is in my hand. I don't even know what to do. Which kind of temptation be this? Okay, just have patience. Let's see if the company would provide another bus before the end of today. If they don't, I will run around tomorrow and see if I can raise like 5000 so that they can use it to buy another vehicle tomorrow. Okay? Okay, my sister. Thank you for caring for me. The place we slept last night, is it comfortable? Can you manage to sleep there again tonight? Yes, the place is safe. It is only mosquitoes that are disturb us here. Me and some other women we will sleep there again today and wait for the bus to come tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry, dear. You will leave there tomorrow, okay? Pepe, my sweet baby, how are you today? How many times have I warned you to stop calling me that name? Perpetua, the daughter of pastor and pastor's missus, are you? I'm not fine. Leave me alone because you had me say my parent occupation in the class. It has turned to a caricature for you, Abby. You don't have respect, drum. Calm down, fine girl. You too, the best. You didn't tell me that you are a pastor's daughter. No wonder you don't like playing with boys because your daddy must have told you, Perpetua, don't play with because if you do, you will go to hellfire. <laughs> Don't worry, play with me. I am a heavenly candidate, you hear? You jumble, heavenly candidate. <laughs> King of liars. Come on, I don't lie. I am the most honest human boy on earth. My heart is filled with truth. That's not why I talk a lot. Jumbo, please leave me alone. I want to go and get snacks. I don't have your time now. Gerard, so you made the decision of settling down with Janice. I didn't say I'm getting married to her for now, but since she's carrying my unborn child, I have to take care of her as a responsibility. Besides, the deed has been done. But how sure are you that she is real? Real as in what? Faking pregnancy or hiding something from me, what do you mean? I spoke with her the last time you guys were here. The spirit just told me that she's fake. I mean, she's not acting real. I think she's hiding her real self. Hmm, Patrick, I know you are a psychologist, but most times we misjudge people by their appearance or attitudes. Come on, Janice is a very sweet lady. She's jovial, caring and intelligent. I don't think there is any hidden character she has that I am yet to know. She has been open to me severally, including her family matters. Hmm, but why are you taking Alice away from the picture? Is it because she isn't that sound and educated like Jenny is? Um, not really. I never mentioned taking Alice out of my life. Come on, Gerard, you can't marry two women. You can only choose one between those two ladies. It's obvious that you're already settling down with Janice. But think about the pains your actions would cause Alice. 
Patrick, I never promised Alice marriage. Besides, the mistake has been done. Janice is pregnant. Should I throw her out with my unborn child? Alice has to reason with me. I'm only keeping Janice under my roof because of my baby she's carrying. If the relationship doesn't work out between Janice and I, immediately after she gives birth to my child, I will take my baby and she goes her way. Then Alice would help me nurture the child as my wife. Gerard, can you answer my question, please? Alice, Alpha, all the boss issue has been resolved. Yes, so the boss just came this early morning. We are about continuing our journey now. Wow, thank God. Ah, I was so worried throughout last night. I couldn't sleep. I kept praying, asking God to provide another vehicle for you. Wow, I'm happy that my prayers were answered. <laughs> thank you for praying for me. Yes, so God answered your prayer. <laughs> yes, so, so happy about it. So have you all begin to repack your luggage into the new vehicle? Hope you have eaten this morning. Yes, so I bought a caram bread. Hey, uh, you've been eating junk since you left. Don't worry, you will be home. When you get to General's place, make sure you cook something better and eat, okay? <laughs> all right, my love, thank you. <laughs> you are now my acting mother. <laughs> Of course, I got to put the one and only friend I have. I will send you 2k this morning. In case you become hungry later, use it to get something to eat, okay? Chai, Agnes, you are so caring. God will bless you for me. Amen. I knew to sis. Hi, Alice, baby. You have not called me for some days now. What happened? Hi, Gerald. I'm fine. Nothing. I have been so busy. I'm hearing noises from your background. Are you on the road? Yes, I am on the road. Uh-uh. Where are you heading to this evening? Um, I'm going to see someone in another town. Really? Who? One of my mommy's sister. Isn't it late already? This is almost 6 p.m. Why not go tomorrow? Hmm, I even heard that Patrick has even bought a car for his wife Rejoice. Are you serious? It is a lie. You mean Patrick bought a car for that old woman? Hmm, now wow, this life no balance at all. She you see, and I am still here trekking. Ah, you will trek oh, as you see me so, I don't even have up to 10,000 naira in my bank account. We never even talk about that we go feed. We did talk about car. Madam, if you cannot trek, go and borrow wings and fly. Hey, MD, so this is now the way you talk to me. MD, what happened to the real estate you told me you own? What happened to the three duplexes you told me you bought at the GRA in Lekki? What happened to all the properties you bragged about when you were still asking me out? Eh? Answer me, MD. Ha ha ha, this anti safe. You still remember all the lines I used when toasting you? Ha, huh? now wow, you have a good retentive memory. I was only speaking words of faith, but you misunderstood me. You got it wrong, baby. Gosh, I am just disappointed in myself for believing you. MG, just pay me off. Let me go. I'm tired of this relationship. Uh uh, go away again. Where are you going with my baby in your tummy? Which year, yeah, baby? I beg, pay me. Let me find my way, draw. Oh, so you have been playing pranks with fake pregnancy all this while. I thought as much. See, if you know that you don't have my baby inside your womb, you will be the one to return all the money you have extracted from me with your audio pregnancy or else I will break one of your legs before you leave my house and that will be the end of your slaying. You must be a joker. Something they worry you. Come and collect a dime, let me see. The day you will dare what you just said, I will make sure I bust your head that day. Ha ha ha. See this second hand lady, oh. you know the shame? Because of rudeness, you have lost all the good men that came your way. You better don't try me. I am not a gentleman like Patrick that tolerates nonsense. I go strip you naked for this street if you don't refund me all the money. Don't worry soon, you will see the colomental aspect of me. Now that day, you go know who Jumbo truly resemble. Jumbo and Titus, I hear that you both refused to participate in the assembly presentation this week. Is that true? Sorry about that, sir, but I was in school that very day. And why were you not in school that day? I took care of you, sir. My mom took me to the hospital that day. Oh, okay. I think I remember now. Your mom called me some days ago that you wouldn't be in school because you weren't strong enough. So how are you feeling now? I am fine now, sir. Good. So you have to prepare for the assembly presentation this week, okay? Okay, I will, sir. Alright, you can go now. Over to you, Jumbo. Why didn't you participate in the assembly presentation? Um, because I came to school late that day. I missed the assembly. You say what? You came what? Why did you come late to school that day? Speak up. 
I can explain, sir. Um, that very morning, there was this little chubby baby that belongs to our landlady. The baby goes by name Maggie. So, baby Maggie innocently crawled to our house while I was actually dressing up for school that morning. So, I gave baby Maggie some concussion rice and coconut we cooked because that's baby Maggie's favorite. Chumbu, shut up and go straight to the point. Why did you come late that very day? Sorry sir, please have patience. Let me finish my story. I am already summarizing it. So, the baby Maggie loves eating so much. In fact, her nickname is Foodie. So, after eating the rice and coconut, could you believe that baby Maggie now swallowed the spoon? Hey, I nearly want peace for my body that day. Jumbu, just get out of my office. Now! Babe, are you not going to the shop today? Um, I will. I'm just feeling weak. Don't feel like going to the store today. Then you should sit back home today. Don't worry, babe. I will try to go later. There is a customer I have to deliver her orders today. What about delivery them tomorrow? No, tomorrow will be late. She needs them tonight. Okay, maybe you can go with the car. Alright, is there enough fuel in it? Yes, I refilled the tank last night. Alright, baby, thanks. Let me make your lunch before going. Don't bother, dear. If you don't have the strength to do so, I will enter the kitchen whenever I feel hungry. No, honey. You shouldn't be doing that again. I am your wife. It is my responsibility to do that. But you aren't strong enough to do that today. Don't worry, love. I will quickly cook before leaving. Let me start preparing the food now. Alright, babe, thanks. Yes, who is there? Alice, what are you doing here? Gerald, who is this lady? Alice, you haven't answered my question. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? <laughs> Gerald, so it is because of this lady you tell me that I should not come, right? Who is she? I am Gerald's wife. Jane, she's the Alice I told you about. Oh, I thought as much. Her English. So what is she doing here? Did you know she was coming? Honestly, I don't even have any idea. I'm so surprised seeing her here. Doesn't she know Scott see the man that you inform people before visiting them? You don't go about visiting people unannounced. Young lady, why are you insulting me? What did I do to you? You are the one that make my Gerard to abandon me. You collect my man from me. God will reward you for your wickedness. Gerard, what is she talking about? Because I can't understand her English. Can you please interpret the nonsense she's saying? Jenny, please, this is not the best time for throwing tantrums. Can you please excuse us? Gerard, I'm not going anywhere. If there's anything you both want to discuss, discuss it in my presence. Unless if you have any skeleton in your cupboard. Hello Charlie, what's up? You and Patrick don't talk. Okay, where did he tell you he lives now? Okay, GRA. Good. And um, did you ask him anything about me? Hmm, Patrick told you not to ask him about me. Hmm, okay. I heard he bought a car for his wife. Not true. Oh, okay. Naeem and his wife, they drive the car, be? Charlie, I got treat that guy for cop. You be my witness, say that guy dates me for good two years without giving me any good compensation. In things say in get sense. So where you say you they see the wife? Okay, she gets sure for that shopping mall with the for GRA. Alright, thanks for the information. No yawa now. I go see you later, okay? Was it love?